welcome to today's session. So today we are starting looking at paper 2 of the August 2022 GCE mathematics exams. So, so far we've covered paper 1 uh, in 6 parts. So if you haven't watched the first 6 parts, please uh, check on our YouTube channel. So, uh, we are starting with question 1 and let us zoom at question 1. So question one leads from section A, which has 52 marks, answer all the questions in this section. So question one A express, so we are required to express six. So six over x minus two minus two over x minus four. Express it as a single fraction in its lowest terms. So the first thing that we need to notice is to notice is what we need to notice is this minus is subtracting all the entire entire of this. Okay, that's the first thing that we need to know. Once we know that, so we need to look for the common denominator. The common denominator between this one and this one. So what is the common denominator there? The common denominator basically is the multiplication of these two, which is x minus 2. You multiply by x minus 4. So once we do that, the next thing is start dividing. So what we do is x minus 2, this one, we divide into this expression. We end up with just this expression. Okay? So hence, what we get is basically uh, 6 multiplied by x minus 4. Then we have this negative, okay, minus. Then we have uh, this expression, okay, into this expression. What we get is basically... Uh, we end up with this. So now this, you multiply with this one, which is negative 2. Then we have basically a 2, this negative, okay, multiply by a x minus 2. Then once we do that, the next thing is simplifying. So simplifying this in the lowest possible terms. So the first step is expansion. So when you expand, we have 6 times x, we have 6x, then minus, then we have 6 times negative 4, we have basically negative 24. Then negative 2 multiplied by negative x, we get negative x. Then the common mistake is when people are multiplying this one and this one. They just multiply a 2 and negative 2 that's all so it's a negative times negative 2 times negative 2 so this negative is this 2 so such that this negative 2 multiplied by this x that's why getting negative 2x then this negative 2 you multiply by the negative 2 you get a positive uh, 2 basically okay so that's what that implies so Negative 2 times negative 2, we are getting a positive 4. Then at this point, it's a matter of simplifying. Remember, the denominator remains unchanged, so it's x minus 2. Then we multiply by x minus 4. Then negative 6x minus 2x, we are getting basically a 4x. Then what we have is negative 24, then plus 4, we are getting negative 20. Then over x minus 2, we multiply by x minus 4. Then simplifying this, we can factor out a 5, or we can factor out a 4. 4 into 4x four is 4. four. 4 into 4x four is basically x minus 4 into negative 20 is negative 5, then over x minus 2, multiply by x minus 4. 
so basically this is how you simplify the equation so our answer you cannot simplify further than that so basically this is how you deal with question 1a then you would have gotten the three marks let us move to question b so question b leads evaluate okay evaluate uh, an integral of 4 minus 3x square with respect to x over an interval of 2 an interval of negative 3 to 2 so the first step that we need to do is to do integration so we have 2 minus 3 then 4 minus 3x square dx so this remember it's not asking us to find the area but to find a value which is evaluate okay so let us just evaluate we see what happens so we integrate this one with respect to x it becomes 4x okay because the power a 4x then we integrate 3x square so it becomes 3x to the power 3 over 3 the new power even here the new power is a 1 so it's over 1 then over the period or over the interval from negative 3 to positive 2 so simplifying this basically basically this becomes just 4x then minus x to the power 3 over this interval then once we do that we can substitute now we can simplify this so we are getting basically substituting the value starting with the the upper so this is the upper value so we have basically 4 multiplied by 2 minus 2 to the power 3 as the first part then the second part so minus so now we are taking away the lower the value of the lower end minus so we have basically whatever there is x we put a negative 3 so a 3 multiplied by negative 4 multiplied by negative 3 then minus remember this minus uh, then negative 3 to the power 3 okay then what we end up with is basically 8 minus 8 okay because this is 8 2 to the power 3 is 8 then uh, minus basically we have negative 12 then this is negative 27 negative 3 to the power 3 is negative 27 times the negative is positive 27 okay then this side we are getting a 0 minus then we have negative 12 plus positive 27 we are getting positive 15 so we're just getting basically a 15 okay so a 15 times negative 1 we are getting a negative 15 so negative 15 is our answer so now what this question is asking us to evaluate just find the value it's not asking to find the area under this curve no it's asking us to find the value so if you find the negative you might be confused that the area cannot be the question is not asking us to find the area but find the value just say evaluate or complete okay so this is the value of this integral so or now to find the area we will deal with it, that question so we we are going to use the same question to find the area in a separate episode so that you know how to deal with such kind of a question thank you for joining us today till next time shalom